Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation App. So guys, today we are going to talk about uh, one quick video on important things to follow when you join a new company, which is very important because uh, a couple of people they were asking about and it was really difficult for me to write a checklist and then and give it to them. It depends person to person, but most of the common things are there whenever you are joining a new team or new uh, or new company, especially that what is the first couple of days routine activities and what are the different things that you need to ask especially for the people who are actually very new to IT industry and they really want to get into IT and then somehow you uh, got the things and got trained and then you cracked the interview but you don't know because you don't have any practical uh, real-time experience so in that case these are the best thing that according to me uh, nine ten points you can follow whenever you are going for a new company so first thing I would say that get the access for all the for all the different uh, things like uh, I would say get all the access like you have a VPN right then we have uh, whatever the get access that you have if you have any zero access or any documentation point of view any drive or something like this some people they use a uh, wiki pages some people they use conference pages like that so if you have all these kind of pages in your company please uh, try to get the access uh, they will create your email id password and everything so yeah email access also so this is i think the very first thing that you have to do that then only you can read the documentation you can go through their documentation and uh, everything like that so get the access and uh, once this is done second thing guys that you have to do that uh, you have to meet and uh, or i would say that intro with other members so i would say intro with uh, team member which is very very important uh, talk to them and uh, discuss about the product discuss about that how exactly they are doing and talk to like little be uh, you know little be gel with them that uh, yeah this is what I'm doing and this is what my experience and this is what I know this is what we used to do in my previous company and then how exactly where exactly you're living and all those things so that's basic casual discussion you can do with your team members because ultimately you have to work with the team members only then uh, third important thing I, have, I would always prefer that okay you quickly have one-on-one meeting okay with your manager one-on-one -on -one meeting with your manager which is very very important so whoever your manager obviously you know it and then um, who has taken your interview and then please talk to them and uh, talk to him and then immediately just check that okay hey what kind of roles responsibility i'll be having and what is the plan for me for next couple of days or for this entire week or whatever so just talk to them and then get to know about what exactly the expectation and uh, where exactly your desk and then tell that okay yeah this is what uh, 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 my plan for next couple of days and then what exactly you you want to uh, do in terms of uh, the team and everything and like that so you can accordingly you can explain and accordingly you can talk to him and then uh, take a decision accordingly the fourth thing that what you can do that go through all the documentation so i'm pretty much sure that okay once for second day or third day when you have the access i would say that okay go through all the documentation i simple right go through all the documentation okay so docs are very important maybe their manual test cases are there some conference pages or some wiki pages they have written or whatever so whatever the product documentation Please go through that and uh, try to understand what kind of product it is, what kind of uh, a process that they are, they are following, what are different test cases they have written, any important conference pages, uh, diagrams, or um, any uh, MOM from the previous meetings, and okay, such like that. You can easily go through it. That's very important, which will give you uh, a lot of confidence that okay, yeah, this is what they are uh, doing it, and then you prepare accordingly uh, your checklist checklist in terms of you can prepare your query sheet over here so you can maintain your query sheet don't ask silly questions unnecessary don't be try to be unnecessary over smart don't try to you know find the mistakes in their process because you are very new All right so maybe once you get the confidence once you are used to with their uh, team and uh, the product and everything maybe later on you can give the suggestions and everything so prepare your query sheet and then accordingly you can ask about that fifth thing uh, you know in terms of automation I would say in terms of automation ask for their git repositories okay so i would say ask for git repo repositories repository uh, urls ask about the automation uh, frameworks where exactly you guys have uh, uh, frameworks or maybe any kind of documentation with respect to that please try to do that and then when you get it okay what you have to you just need to clone it and import in your project 
import in, in your means in your eclipse so whatever uh, intellij or eclipse that you are using it you can simply do it and then try to debug and try to execute so try to i would say try to debug and uh, run it go through their what kind of coding style what kind of coding standard they are following what are the different tools okay uh, they are using all those things you can check it over there and then easily you can uh, later on you can ask about the doubts and everything you can do that okay so this is about the automation guys i think uh, uh, you should know about it <laughs> uh, along with that i have already as i told you that uh, for different documentation but i would still say that okay one separate point i will write check their manual test cases so whatever the positive negative test cases where exactly they are writing <clears throat> maybe they are using zero as a fire plugin could be possible right they are using zero as a fire plugin or maybe they are using quality center or maybe some uh, you know other test uh, testing tool they are using or test management tool they are using try to ask them that okay yeah what kind of tool you are using and then uh, get to know about their tools in uh, uh, manual test cases and everything uh, get complete checklist what kind of process that you guys are following and everything and then okay be handy with that okay because automation is the ongoing thing that obviously you have to do that in the future but uh, knowing about the things and everything you can do that and along with that you try to run their test cases also so run i would say manual test cases run manual test cases see that okay yeah open the application get the access i'll write get the access on the application as well that i'm pretty much assuming that okay you already get the access on application application means whatever the application they are using it try to get the access in terms of url in terms of uh, your username password you try to create it or test account that you try to create that and then uh, log into the application and execute all these manual test cases and then play with the application try to understand the application so i would say play with the application i'm just writing some basic notes guys so that you will understand over here okay other than that what else we have uh, so i would say this is the uh, six point seven point i would say that uh, ask about the dev ask i would say about the dev qa what is their dev process what is the qa process what is their uh, release process okay what kind of releases they have okay so talk to them talk to other a dev members also release managers also or other engineering manager in the qa of folks obviously you are part of let's say qa team or you're part of dev team you talk to them that okay hey uh, who all other developers are available what type of uh, backend uh, work we have who is uh, who are responsible for the ui for the front end right who is responsible for the uh, you know the databases and everything what are the different teams sitting over here in india or maybe some other uh, you know maybe other city or other country or something like that you talk to them okay the about the team about the release processes about the uh, dev processes qa processes and everything how okay when exactly that uh, the last release happened and when exactly the next release is going to be happened like that so try to be okay know about all these things and then eight thing that uh, i would say that uh, don't do this but i would say don't expect everything in one day okay so i would say don't expect everything in one day you should not do it guys that uh, some people what they do okay share this also share this also no i i i want everything in one day this is the wrong thing because other person is also busy or maybe that uh, he's not available or or uh, your manager is not available or maybe somebody is already with the release taken and everything and then if you're asking again and again on the same day that okay give me everything tell me about the product about the feature about each and everything about the product within one or two days that is not possible it's a proper plan that you okay you have to discuss with your manager and everything so that's why the next point i would say that plan and discuss i would write plan and discuss about the kt kt means the knowledge uh, transfer okay who is responsible for that what kind of kt what is the plan and how many days it will take and all those things you try to do that other than that some companies what they follow that okay they you try to get a buddy also your buddy will be there who is taking care of uh, all the things in terms of non product related activities like yeah this is the team you have to sit over here this is uh, hr team this is the admin team this is the cafeteria 
and uh, like that okay so get a buddy it's not compulsory that okay you should get the buddy within the team or outside of the team you can get the buddy from uh, okay from any i mean from any team on the floor okay from that particular company so that's okay so try to get a buddy try to ask it okay that who is my buddy for that some companies they follow such trends like that now the last point i would say that attend all the required i would say attend all the important meetings meetings like we have daily stand up although you are very new you don't know abcd about their particular product that's okay but try to attend the daily stand up calls and uh, they are retrospective if they are having any sprint planning okay that is already going on already you don't know what exactly things are happening over there but you try to do that and then any uh, any grooming sessions or any backlog grooming sessions are happening please try to be okay involved with such activities such things okay and the last point i would say that uh, just came into my mind that okay try to uh, get their zira dashboard also if they are following let's see uh, agile and uh, they are following the scrum and just try to see that okay what is their scrum board okay so check it on zira dashboard that is very important what kind of task okay are going on what are the different user stories are going on what are the different epics and when exactly we are planning for the release that is also very important when exactly that uh, uh, you know the last thing happened and i mean the overall the dashboard you try to see that and then who is a reviewer who is my po who is the qa guy who is the uh, dev for that particular task and along with that complete engineering manager okay discussion you can do that and then try to mingle with the team try to know about that and raise the questions if you have it but don't read unnecessary things at the very beginning that okay yeah why are you doing this or oh, this is wrong this is right like okay don't discuss unnecessary things don't do uh, you know because sometimes what happens is okay people are working in that particular team from last one year and two years and they know in and out about and suddenly one person joins the company and um, uh, and then they start pointing that okay no this is wrong what are you doing this I used to do a lot of things in my previous company. Uh, we were following such kind of process you guys are not following that that is the wrong thing guys that you are doing it you should not do such things okay because uh, i have seen such people and then then they create unnecessary a bad image within the team that okay no i used to do that in my previous company now what exactly you're doing this is totally wrong we should follow those things like that so no when you uh, get the hold of the product when you when you are totally confident about about the team and everything and then people are starting the working with you properly in that case you can put a point in a proper way that okay yeah this is uh, what uh, we can do that to improve the process or to improve the code and everything like that so guys these are the things that just came into my mind this is the checklist i can think of it if you have anything in your mind please put it down in the comment section and uh, a very simple very quick video i know most of the people they are already aware of it but this is the thing for uh, this is the checklist for people who actually very new to the IT world and they don't know what you they know selenium java from the training or uh, whatever or maybe the testing or development or whatever but uh, they don't know how exactly the you know we have to perform at least uh, i would say the first initial one week or two weeks initially or what is the first day activity and second day activity what we have to do with that and the, these days uh, work from home is going on in this pandemic situation so I think uh, uh, this checklist will be applicable for the work from home things as well. Okay, so that's all from my side. And uh, thank you so much for watching this particular video, guys. It was a very quick video to know about the checklist where you join a new company. If you have anything in your mind or any extra point you really want to add, please put it in the comment section. And please subscribe to the channel if you uh, really like this particular video and share it with others who are actually going to join a new company in this okay in this situation. So thank you so much. Thanks for watching the Vita Automation Labs.